COVID EXPLOSION IN OUR STATE, THE CDC IS RECOMMENDING THAT PEOPLE MASK UP IN SIX COUNTIES HERE IN WASHINGTON. RIGHT NOW, THE STATEWIDE SEVEN-DAY CASE RATE IS AT 241 CASES PER 100,000 PEOPLE. 10% OF ALL HOSPITAL BEDS AROUND THE STATE ARE BEING USED BY COVID PATIENTS RIGHT NOW. COMPARE THAT TO 68% OF OUR STATE'S POPULATION WHO HAVE GOTTEN AT LEAST TWO DOSES OF THE VACCINE. FOX 13 NEWS REPORTER STEVE KIGGIN SHOWS US WHERE THE COVID HOTSPOTS ARE IN OUR AREA AND HOW WE'RE HANDLING THIS LATEST RISE IN CASES. It's so nice that the weather's nicer, that we could, can be outside. So I think that's a, probably the best course of action. Tessa Sharp and her pal Harrison Cook hit the water on kayaks as COVID-19 feels like a distant memory. I feel pretty safe. I mean, my coworker just got it, so obviously we're still getting it, but he's doing okay. And I feel like, you know, you're on the water pretty far from people. But escape is not a reality. COVID-19 remains nearly everywhere across our state. Health officials say COVID-19 cases are rising fast with 200 new cases per 100,000 people in eastern Washington in Garfield and Spokane counties and in western Washington in Lewis, Grays Harbor, Pacific and Thurston counties. We have seen a slight uptick in hospitalizations across the state since our last briefing in May. But fortunately, the curve for deaths remains stable at this time. When we asked, most people shared a concern that the disease can still impact so many. And masking is still a thing for those who voluntarily do so in and around Seattle. But others feel like summer 2022 is a season we can finally look beyond the lockdowns. And wearing masks is not on the menu. Probably not because I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to live my life now. I'm trying to, to be, just do whatever comfortable. I kind of go with the flow in general, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. And, yeah, is it maybe a smart thing to wear a mask? Yeah, I think so. But it's like, at the same time, it's like... I'm trying to live my life and just relax a little bit. I'll keep my distance from people, do the smart things, and not, uh, you know, be too close to the big crowds, technically. But uh, that's why we're outside right now, out here, you know. Uh, but I don't know. I think that's what I think. What do you think? I'm done with the whole mask thing. I never wore one, <laughs> never liked it. I'm done with it. So, yeah, I'm glad we're back to normal. What's normal? COVID 19 is not over. So, if your holiday includes large gatherings, wearing masks, might not only protect yourself and those you love, but also those working the front lines of a seemingly endless pandemic. Hospitals and emergency departments are reporting significant stress due to a combination of factors such as workforce shortages and difficult to discharge patients. So practice recommended COVID-19 prevention measures, not only to keep yourself from possibly needing health care, but also to prevent infections amongst healthcare workers in the community. Steve Kickins, Fox 13 News.